In this story, you will see the colossal monster. It has emerged from the water and is threatening human life. This monster is wreaking havoc all over the place. It is a great punishment for the humans to happen as such. The film starts and a beautiful sight of night is shown. A boy named by E who is also the leading character of this movie, he reaches a big size door while chasing a girl. He observes a beautiful garden and river when he goes to the opposite side of door. That girl jumps into that river at the first sight. Whom by E was chasing and he wanted to catch that girl. So he also jumps after her. As they swim to another side of the river, lightning falls there with its power from the sky. Lightning touches the shoulder of that girl. Moreover, the ground of that place is also melted. And that ground was pulling that girl towards it. That girl dies by being buried with the sight of Bai. It is revealed here as what had been seen till now, it was just the nightmare of Bai, e, not the reality. As Bai e reaches his job, ignoring this nightmare, he comes to know, reaching there as his partner had been caught by the businessman's guards. It was the statement of that businessman as his partner had stolen is one of the rare things, that boy was making everyone to believe him while swearing, that he is guiltless. But that boy was being ignored. Bai e reaches there as that boy was going to be punished, and he says to the businessman, I apologize on his part. Release him. He says to the businessman, I am ready to do whatever you demand. That businessman makes his face expression as such as is any task as completed. He has to let his work complete. And he had got the opportunity to make his task done. He puts this condition before Bai e that, I will let your friend go safe and sound if you bring a celestial bone for me. Now Bai E had not other choice, so he agrees with Busness Man. Whereas Bai E knew this that it is task which is full of danger. What, could he do? He had to accomplish this task. So they set out to search for a map to get the celestial bone. And they reach a mysterious building. Where Bai E encounters a girl and he becomes worried, seeing her there. This girl was the duplicate of that girl, about whom Bai E used to dream. That girl's name was Shirley. She gets ready to hand them over the map but she puts a condition here, that they will keep Shirley with them in their entire adventure. Afterwards, they are seen on a voyage, they were sailing in a boat and a mysterious man was also in this with them. That man was pretending as such as he knows them and their destination before. They were all going to the right direction. When they had reached the mid of the stream, then Shirley's compass stops working, and their boat also begins to shake fast. Bai E and Shirley had detected that there is a giant monster. They begin to cast a glance on the surface of the water, standing on the boat. They glimpse nothing at first but a giant monster attacks their boat all of a sudden. Due to this, their boat is cracked. Shirley was going to drown into the water but Bai E saves her life. Later, Bai E's all friends are got together there to face that monster. Bai E hits upon an idea here. He transforms the sailcloth into the fish trap. So he may bind that monster in this trap. As that monster jumps on their boat, Bai E entraps him in his created trap. But that monster had torn that trap with a jerk. Now monster had got aggressive. As a result, it had started a chaos on the boat. Now it was going to engulf everyone there. Then that mysterious man appears who had been seen on their boat at the start. Now he attacks the monster with his electric weapon. That monster was feeling much pain. At last, it had left there, leaving their boat. The identity of that man is exposed. In fact, that man was scientist. And this scientist was also in search of the same celestial bone. For which this group had set out, scientists tells them, the way where you have sailed out, this way is not out of danger which you are considering. There is a threat on each step. And the monster with whom you have fought right now. Actually, it had been kept here by an evil goddess. Now they all prepare themselves to cope with these dangers. They reach a mountain where they see a temple. They step inside the temple while keeping their sight on this. Then Bai e discovers a button there. A tunnel had appeared before him while pressing this. That tunnel leads them to a gigantic door. Bai e opens that gate hardly. It was an ice cave where they had gone. It was so slippery and it was very difficult for them to stand there. Bai e observes this if they continue to proceed like this, then they will soon die after being crashed. First of all, he uses his knife and makes strong himself. Then he secures the life of his friend Shirley. On the other hand, Bai E's friends were also going to be crashed. Now Bai E does as such as he pushes Shirley on his other friends, meanwhile, they all are fallen into a tunnel. Now they had reached a new cave. Bai E was under the threat but Shirley brings him into another cave, throwing her hook trap. Shirley senses this as someone is around them. Then many eyes are opened in the darkness here. It was so horrific sight. Actually, these were those wolves' eyes, and hungry wolves were to ready to attack them here. Before this, 
They may open any entrance, or they may reach there. Then all wolves attack them there. Then the entire group collaboratively fights with those wolves. They were keeping the wolves at a distance with the help of their swords. Then Bai Yi turns on some lights here. These wolves run far from the lights. Then Bai Yi decides here, that he will keep far all wolves here while turning on the lights, while the other group members will take the advantage of this, they will try to go outside from the upper entrance. Shirley utilizes her ship anchor here. She fixes this with the upper entrance while tying a rope with this. The attached hooks are damaged as she was trying to go upside. Shirley had fallen down. But Sun's rays had appeared in the cave because of the breakage of its upper hole. Now the wolves were cursed that they could not come in Sun's rays. As Sun's rays will burn their skins. Consequently, those wolves go at a distance from them. But those, wolves were still lusty for their blood. And they wanted to quench their appetite to hunt them. Fortunately, those wolves don't get this chance. They all move outside, getting the advantage of those sun's rays. But the clouds cover the sun immediately. And it becomes sunless. Now Bai Yi had caught in that cave with that group. Now Bai Yi's friend creates covers it with a great difficulty and brings him upper side. Now they had not a little courage after facing difficult time, as they may face more dangers further. So they all come back without taking the celestial bone. Shirley was dressing her friend by E's wound when they had come back to the city. Then it is noticed that same mark on Shirley's back was also on by E's back, Shirley gathers her whole group. And she reveals to all about that mark. This mark was not ordinary one but a curse, now Shirley tells here the story of that mark. The story of the movie moves to the flashback. Our ancestors were passing a desert a time ago. And they had entered the cave of the evil goddess by mistake. Where an evil goddess had been taking rest for many years. That evil goddess had lost her temper with their entry. So she makes all monsters attack them. So they get this curse mark because of this assault. It indicated that all cursed people will die before 50 years. And this curse will travel and chain to their bloodline. So they all people had got upset, listening this story. They asked Shirley, is there any way to remove this curse? She tells, the celestial bone for which we had come out, the same bone can remove this mark, now by E who had started to develop the affections for Shirley he decides that he cannot let Shirley die like this. He will secure the life of Shirley at any cost, taking the celestial bone. Now his all group members were ready to help him in this matter. Now they reach the same caves where many wolves were present. They had known about that cave perfectly. So they had come now here with, full preparation. So they managed to lighten that cave for that 30 minutes through a mechanism. So those wolves may not attack them within these 30 minutes. And they may cover their way within 30 minutes as they may leave that place, getting the celestial bone. In case they remain unable to, accomplish this then they will be entrapped in this cave. They make the way to another cave after entering this cave in any way. That entrance opens in form of a temple. Which was an ancient temple but an advanced look. As Bai Yi turns on the light, reaching there, the entire temple is brightened because of a chain reaction. And they were moving ahead with full concentration. Then Bai Yi's own foot is put on a trigger, that temple begins to shake fast after stepping on that trigger by Bai Yi. And they attack them with the strange weapons. There were shooting arrows from one weapon while swords from another's. From which they protect themselves with a great difficulty. They had escaped from them then the great pins begin to fall on them. They feel as such as they have crossed all the dangers. A tomb appears before them. The same celestial bone was revolving on that tomb, for which search they had arrived here. Many giant monsters attack them here. As Bai Yi keeps that celestial bone in his bag while picking it, then the gigantic spiders attack them, coming there. The whole group fights with them to escape from them. Then Bai Yi estimates that all creatures are making effort to protect the celestial bone. Then Bai Yi plans there and asks his group members to leave from there, and he himself becomes the meal of the spiders among them. Because he had celestial bone. Now the group moves to the cave situated upper side. Now Shirley had stopped here to secure his friend. She attacks them, shooting an arrow. Then Bai Yi had also got a chance to go upside. As they are moving upside, those spiders pull Shirley down, using their web. After this, Shirley was thinking as her life will be ended here. But how could Bai Yi go after leaving Shirley as such? He instantly saves Shirley, coming there. But he is also entrapped there. They both are fighting with those spiders together. Then the whole group comes to secure them. That scientist had attacked these spiders, approaching there. As a result, all monsters go far from them. Then they get a chance as they may hide themselves behind a big thing. Scientist was outside and he was also fighting with all the spiders. He was also spraying gas on them from his bottle. 
that scientist comes back after doing this. At the same time, Baie sets that place on fire while throwing his burnt letter. As it had been witnessed before that whole temple had lightened, turning on a light. It referred that there was being created chain reaction. Now the entire temple is exploded while igniting it a little bit. The whole temple had ignited because of the explosion. Now the oxygen level was also ending now. Which meant that all entrapped people will be died. When these people come to know that they will not be survived now, then they all bind their hand with one another there. As they are showing a unity. As they do as such then Shirley's compass stops working again. All the people had left astonished, seeing this. Because River Monster had attacked them when Shirley's compass had stopped working at first. Then they know, this temple was absolutely amid of the river. And River Monster is also around them. And it is also the same according to their sense. That monster was exactly near them. And it was hitting the temple's wall again and again. This is the cause that temple's wall is collapsed. And temple had filled with much water. Now river monster had also come to kill them there. They were trying to escape from the temple while swimming. In the end, Bai E had approached. He notices, turning back, he feels that river monster was going to engulf him. Bai E's luck was good here as a big stone had fallen on that monster. And that monster is bound in that temple. At last, they had come on the surface of the water now. It means that the whole group of Bai E had succeeded in their mission. All were traveling in the train to return to their houses. Then Shirley gratifies Bai Yi that he rescues her again and again. Then Bai Yi says to everyone, the curse that that evil goddess had bestowed upon the people, we will break all curses with this celestial bone. Bai Yi's whole team agrees with him. The movie completes on this scene.